I'm meteorologist John Dawson. This is the Fox 26 YouTube tropical update. Want to make sure that you're aware of what's happening in the tropics and spoiler alert, uh, not much in the Atlantic Basin, which we're certainly not going to complain about that. But thanks for finding us here on YouTube and we'll dive into a few other things that they'll be a little bit interesting here as we talk about some stuff. But yes, for the next five days, this is what we enjoy hearing from the National Hurricane Center in the Atlantic Basin. No tropical uh, cyclone formation is expected over the next five days. And of course, that includes out in the Atlantic, that includes the Caribbean and into the Gulf of Mexico. Now over to the Pacific side of things, we're still watching Celia, and this is a system that's really struggled a little bit, but it's maintaining that tropical storm strength right now. And as it continues to move over the next couple of days, it will probably increase in strength. So right now we're looking at those maximum sustained winds as of 4 p.m. on Wednesday at 5 50 miles an hour. The movement has slowed a bit down to eight miles an hour. It had been up to uh, 12 to 15 mile an hour miles an hour in its movement. It has uh, slowed a little bit, uh, and so we'll see this continuing to move. By the time we get to tomorrow afternoon, Thursday afternoon, it'll be starting to get a lot, almost to that hurricane strength. It's got to get to that 74 mile an hour though, and then by, we'll do that by Friday probably maintain that hurricane strength into Saturday and then eventually it'll start sort of falling apart a little bit. But the good news is the track that this is taking remains parallel to the west coast of Mexico. And yes, some of this is sort of getting some of that moisture kind of spun off of that and, and giving some rain for that part of their country. But it's still something that's fairly manageable overall is certainly not a hurricane uh, that's headed that direction. So we still are June in June, although we're sort of getting towards the end of it a little bit and just kind of wanted to remind you those key areas that we really watch this time of the year for potential development and because of some upper level winds along with plenty of helpings of that Saharan dust. This is something that sort of prevented to see anything from forming, but the far southern portions of the Gulf of Mexico into the Bay of Campeche is definitely an area that sometimes we would expect to see development. That southwestern Caribbean is probably the more favored spot of all of these three areas that we're looking at as far as we would look to see something develop. Again, we haven't seen that um, for sure. And then into the Bahamas, this is kind of another spot that sometimes happens, but if it does, it normally kicks out into the Atlantic. So it's not as much of a concern as far as uh, making a landfall or something like that. If something develops there again, thanks for finding us here on YouTube. Make sure you download the Fox 26 weather app. It'll help you stay prepared as well. And if you want to follow me on social media as well, I would definitely appreciate that. Uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, I'll, I'll I use all of them just a little bit differently. So dive in, find which one you like, commit to it. We'll keep connected. I'm at John Dawson, Fox 26.